Oh, it was obviously a pretty disappointing effort and um, you know we probably probably didn't see a performance like that coming after the last few weeks so it is um, you know consistency something we want to build and, and we didn't deliver that yesterday. Was it mentally mental preparation do you think that people just weren't on the job? Yeah I'm not sure I guess it um, early on in the game obviously the start of the start of the game is really important and we didn't come to play. Um, Bulldogs were hungrier than us and um, you know, they probably got what they wanted earlier in the game and um, they certainly put scoreboard pressure on us which um, you know, we weren't able to sort of kick our goals probably early on when, when we needed to and um, yeah, they, they really put the pressure on us. Are you more concerned about that start or the fact you just couldn't arrest the momentum at all during the game? Oh, I think there's probably a few things that we, we need to work on but um, you know, it's all part of it and all something we need to, obviously as a group we need to yeah, keep working on. This is the first time you guys have been put in that situation. What was Walshy like? Did you get a bit of a spray? Or? No, he's pretty cool and calm. Walshy, he's, um, he's big on obviously trusting the system and, and as players we've got full trust in the system and um, yesterday we didn't execute how we wanted to play pretty much um, throughout any parts of the game. So um, probably late in the second quarter we sort of got what we wanted a little bit but um, when we came back out in the third quarter they sort of got on top of us again. Did the team um, defence system break down? I think I think in parts, yeah. Just um, we turned the ball over pretty shallow in our forward fifty, um, and they were sort of able to slingshot off it. You saw blokes like Murphy and um, and Boyd and them really set them up from defence there, and um, you know it makes it hard for the defenders when there's no pressure on the ball. Does it make this week? Does it make this week even a bit more bigger that you got to give a response? All right, no, we'll so we'll do our review and we'll move on and, and and look forward to this weekend and obviously you know it's a. It's a big game and one um, we all look forward to playing in. So was a no jetty jump this morning? Oh, I don't know. I had a few of you down there this morning, so... <laughs> How about you guys? Did you do anything? Any, was there any punishment with the, with the ground ball gets that you're supposed to jump off the jetty? Oh, we'll have our meetings today and um, and go over those sort of things. Nothing this morning, though? No, I don't know. Oh, I heard you guys are down there. <laughs> How about you guys? Did you do anything? Did we do a thing? I don't know, mate. Um, <laughs> I heard you had all the jetties covered. <laughs> Um, how disappointed are you about that um, ground ball gets that? Especially Walsh, you made such a big issue of it. Yeah, exactly right. Um, it is something because obviously we pride ourselves on that. And um, even though we won the last couple of weeks, we still didn't get the numbers that we wanted. So um, it's something we're going to have to go back to and, and put even more of an emphasis on uh, um, to make sure that, and you know, along with a few other things too. Does that just sort of show that it's taking a little while to really come to grips with his style of game? Um, not really. I think you know we've we've obviously been training since you got appointed over over pre season, and you know if you include the NAB Cup games, we've sort of been doing it for you know six to eight weeks. So um, it obviously you know we're not going to be able to you know execute it every weekend, but um, you know the fact that yesterday we we're, were so far off was probably the disappointing part. How imposing, Sam? This week, obviously, um, Matty might be back in the team for Port. How, how difficult is it going to be to come against Lobby and? Yeah, you're right. Um, they were both imposing on their own, let alone put together. So it's going to be a great challenge for me, and, and not only Josh Jenkins. And I'm, I'm getting great support from him this year. I think his ruck work's really improved, and um, I feel he's really damaging around the ground now when he's in the ruck. So um, you know, obviously every week there's another big challenge, and, and you know now they've got Loeb's back, and, and Ryder's been in pretty good form as well. It'll be another good one for me. Yeah, you you know, Ryder when he um, when he pushes forward. I guess we'll, we'll have a few options this week um, with our defenders um, and I think they're playing three tools now so I'm not sure what the setup the team will look like but um, you know, I'm sure we'll have to, to work something out but same as sort of the game yesterday, a lot of it's the game's won and lost in the midfield and you know, if we're able to sort of get the ball in our 50 and lock it in there and, and not let it come out, it'll go a long way to helping the defence and, and winning the game. Sam, you haven't tackled by quite a long way last night too, how disappointing is that and everything else that was going on? Yeah, it is, um, especially because no, I think they had plus 34 possessions as well. So, I mean, if you don't have the footy, you generally like to think that you're, you're putting pressure on and winning the tackles, but we lost that as well. So, um, you know, there wasn't wasn't too many positives to come out of yesterday. So how much of a focus, obviously, is that going to be going into this one? Oh, it's always a focus. Um, you know, ground balls and tackles, while she said from day one, that that's going to be, you know, one of our key indicators and will we'll continue to be going forward. What is the combination, Ryder and Lobie? Is that as good as it gets in the competition? Um, 
well, I guess uh, sort of hard to judge it because they're probably a bit every sort of uh, you know rock when you come up against they're probably a bit different. Um, you know, obviously they're two probably different uh, contrasting styles. Whereas you know, early in the year if you go against Goldstein, it's a different sort of game again, and same as sort of Jamar. So. Um, they are really different, obviously, you know, Ryder's got really spring-heeled and, and Loby's, you know, a good rocker himself, so he's going to be a tough one. Did you have a look at the game uh, Port played on the weekend and what do you think the key is to sort of break them down to you? Yeah, we obviously tuned in Saturday night playing Sunday and um, they were pretty exciting in the first half and, um, you know, to be honest, it doesn't really surprise me, you know, they've had a really, um, really tough start. Uh, this year, but you know they're a quality team, and we're certainly going to have to be at our best this week. Talk about those turnovers in the shallow. Yep. Sort of attack and defence, the lack of pressure that was on their midfield. How important is it going to be with Ryder that can play up fully? Such a huge target. You know, really need to pressure the, the entry. Yeah, exactly. And um, you know, we won't get caught worrying about just Ryder. You know, Schultz is obviously I think he hit five on the weekend as well, and and Westhoff's obviously been a great player for a long time. So. Um, they've got a lot of options and obviously with their small fo small half forwards as well with I guess Wingard played a bit more midfield with Gray out but if he comes back in then you know it's a pretty imposing uh, forward line. You touched on, on Josh helping you this week, you've obviously done most of the rucking in showdowns yep. so at the footy club by yourself um, against Portsmouth Logan and then obviously a bit of Westhoff and Trengard. How much support do you need this week from Josh to handle those two blocks? Yeah, I, I think um, you know. I think his his sort of percentage in the ruck time will go up probably more and more because, um, like you said, you just can't you can't go to your own against two quality players like that. So um, I'll, I'll probably see him probably doing a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. What sort of percentage do you normally do? Oh, I reckon maybe around probably the 15 percent or something like that. But um, in future, you know, you might especially this week. Um, it's probably a bit different when you're going against um, when I'm going against you know say another ruckman just one other ruckman. It's probably it's not as important to play as, as much, but um, you know when you're coming up against two like that, you know probably up be around that 15 to 20 percent. I'm assuming. And you said um, obviously Ryder's agility and spring hill, and then Lobby's he more the tougher workhorse. Yeah, he is for sure. Um, with Lobby, obviously you know nothing's ever going to come easy against him. He's um, He's a really, really good tackler. I think he's, he's a, almost a number one tackler at the club. So his work around the stoppage is obviously his strength, and um, you know, he's, he's, yeah, I think his leadership really stands out on the field as well. Can you just get your view on that Alistair Clarkson incident at Adelaide Oval? Obviously? Oh, I'm not not too sure of where. I, obviously, I knew it was going on, and he spoke to the media yesterday. But I was yeah worried about playing. It's yeah. disappointing to see that. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably won't say too much. I don't totally. I'm not totally across what actually happened, so I'll probably just leave that one alone. Do you hope the coach sticks with the same group of players this week after one bad performance, or should he be looking for the likes of Crouch uh, from the same Oh, I guess we'll sort of review this game first before we before we move on to the next one. But that's up to Walsh. He's the, the, uh, with the team dynamics and how he wants to set up, but. Like you said, there's a few guys in the SNFL are really staking their claim to get back in the team, which has obviously been really good. So, um, you know, no one's really safe at, at the moment, and um, it's good to have that pressure from underneath. You guys got that 24, so today will be reviewed. Yeah. Yeah. Just in general terms, how much does the confidence take a hit after a performance like that? Three good weeks and then a bad loss? Um, it's probably you know one week sort of um, you know it's a disappointing effort but we're still confident we've still got you know full 100% trust in the system and what we're trying to do and um, yeah, the fact is yesterday we didn't we didn't get what we wanted so if we got what we wanted and we had that result then you'd probably be worried but the fact uh, we didn't play our crow style at all um, sort of says that you know the system works it's just we've got to execute it better. Did they surprise you the doggies are they a team really on the rise? I wouldn't say that surprised me but. Um, how organised they were and, and how exciting they probably were as well, which was probably a standout. The way they moved the ball from from half back to half forward uh, to to their forward line really quickly, um, you know, was would have been exciting for their fans. Unfortunately, not for us on the other side. But um, you know, they've got some real quality kids. You look at blokes like Bonton Pelly, who's you know he's almost a key position size so playing in the midfield and. And obviously, you saw what Jake Stringer did and, and McRae, and you can keep listing them off. So I think they're going to be in a pretty good, pretty good shape going forward.